Well, haven't been here in a minute. Of course it's me. Who else would I be? I can't see you. Well, I'm right here. You're the one who's lost. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> I am presently in the midst of the very sexy multitask of braiding my hair for the night so that, you know, I don't look like a hot mess in the morning and so that it doesn't get all dry. This thing on radiator heat, like having the heat on in the winter, turns your hair into like straw. See, it's all like dry on the ends. I need to get a trim so bad. But, um, that and watching the little one eats and play games and making the second dinner for the night which the kids had their uh, mushroom mac and cheese that's what he's eating um and i am making vegetable lentil uh stew kind of for Mar and I, it's uh, green lentils with, uh, we had some multicolored carrots that Mar got from Trader Joe's, some purple and white and red and, yeah, orange carrots. Um, and a bunch of fresh herbs, rosemary, thyme, sage, oregano, uh, garlic, onions, potatoes, I figured I'd add potatoes, give it some stewiness, some hardiness, um, and olive oil. I don't use broth very often when I'm doing soups, and I do really good soups. I'm a badass soup maker from scratch, like I do, I'm proud of my soup, my soup game is intense. Um, and I thank Rachel Ray for that. Rachel Ray taught me the method to making soups. Like once you know the method, you don't really need a recipe. That's what soups are. Soups are more of a method than a recipe. I'm swaying because my back hurts and I haven't done my yoga in like two days. Um, but I make really good soup. I don't use broth because that ups the sodium, the salt content. I like to have a little bit more control over how much salt I use. Sometimes Mar says I use too much salt. Other times he's adding salt to his food. I say I don't use that much, all things considered, but hey, it's still from scratch and I'm not using broth. So either way, it's less salt than if I were using broth. And low sodium broth tastes like ass to me. So I usually just use water. I just go heavy with the herbs and spices and balance it out that way. Sometimes I add mushrooms to give it some hardiness, some more body and flavor to it. Um, and yeah, it'll be done in a little bit. It's like nine o'clock at night and this is the second dinner of the night. Kitchen's cleaned already. <sighs> I have like another load of laundry to do. A child to bathe. Daddy. Daddy's not here, baby. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, green tea. If you could see that. Um, <clears throat> My children are testing my love for them today. I'm babysitting again. And it's the same three I had yesterday. And they're being relatively chill. Aside from a lot of screaming. But, you know, they're little. They scream. My kids are both acting like extremely selfish only children today. Like, they don't want anyone to play with their toys. They don't want anyone to beat them at games. They don't want anyone to, they don't want, they want to be first at everything. Like, they're having extreme only child syndrome. Both of them. Both of them. 
And they played so well. I keep looking down because I'm looking at the baby monitor. The two youngest, my toddler and the baby, are asleep. But the other ones are upstairs making the most noise. You probably can't hear it. Maybe. But it's like, oh, wait, babies are asleep? Let's pretend we're a marching band. And, um... Yeah, I'm tired. I, they they got my hopes up yesterday. They, everyone was chill. Babies were cool. People ate their food. Everybody did good things. It was awesome. Gave me delusions about, you know, the effects of doing this two days in a row. And it's fine. My kids, you know, will adjust. Um, or not. I, I don't do this regularly anymore. I don't do this full time. And this is kind of why. Like, I don't want them to not be able to share their space. They're usually very good at sharing their space. They're great about it. They play with their each other's toys. They let other people come over. Like, they want their friends to come over. But there are times when that doesn't work. And if I'm doing this full time on a regular schedule with, you know, somebody I'm obligated to, then on those days when my kids are being total assholes, I can't do anything about it. It's just like, okay, well, I got to deal with assholes and other kids and they might be assholes for days and I can't deal with it. And right now I'm kind of over it long-term and that's fine. I'd already decided that long-term childcare, full-time childcare was not going to be in the bag for me anymore. I'm tired. I'm old. I have my own too. I don't necessarily. Our neighbors are going to hate us after today. Um, I don't want having a house full of kids to sour me on the possibility of having another kid. And in all honesty, it can. If you've ever done in-home childcare, it's different than doing childcare. In-home childcare means your entire your space, your home, is in chaos for an extended period of time unless you have an extremely dedicated spot. And the kids don't go to my glasses are really catty wampus. I don't. Here come someone. They are not. I'm on this super duper fast. I'm on this super duper fast. I'm on this super dee duper dee duper dee duper. Yeah. 
just have some food, a snack, blueberry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to feel like filling up the Which one's the small one? That one. Yeah. Oh, yeah.